Governor Lamont now wants the state to consider tolling cars. That's a reversal from his stance during the campaign trail, where he stated he was only in favor of tolls on trucks. And no surprise, this recent announcement has plenty of people fired up. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live near I-95 in Milford with some strong opinions tonight. Matt? Well, Denise and Dennis, plenty of drivers don't like the proposal, but the governor says the state needs revenue for its aging roads and bridges, and he says tolling all drivers is just one other option that the state should consider. Gassing up his work van, Giovanni Anastel says he's got no problems. If tolls mean one day, he'll have to pay extra when heading out on highways like I-95. It's for the good of everybody in Connecticut, so. Though not everyone likes the idea. Absolutely not. Our taxes are high enough. Everybody's moving out of Connecticut for a reason. Over the weekend, Governor Ned Lamont raised some eyebrows when he said he'd like the state to consider a second option of tolling cars. A 180 from his stance during the campaign where he said he'd only support tolling tractor trailers. I thought about just um, tolling on tractor trailer trucks. That would provide some revenues, enough for us to fix some of our roads and bridges, but not enough to upgrade our transportation system to the 21st century. Lamont says the second option of tolling trucks and cars could bring in roughly $800 million a year, adding there would be deep discounts for Connecticut residents. The Yankee Institute claims tolling Connecticut's highways will hurt working families. Everyone agrees that Connecticut faces challenges related to its infrastructure, but taxing Connecticut's people simply for driving to work is regressive and wrong. But on the flip side, the Connecticut Construction Industries Association supports the plan. Governor Lamont's recent proposal on tolls is the only solution that we have seen thus far that does not saddle the Connecticut taxpayers with 100% of the burden of the cost to repair, maintain, and improve the systems across the state. I think it'll be a good thing, you know. Connecticut for years has been, they have been really good with the budget and it's a good source of revenue. Now in that video message, the governor posted to social media over the weekend. He says he wants to hear feedback from residents in Connecticut. Also, uh, we should get more on the governor's options, the proposals that he's looking at during his budget address on Wednesday. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in, in Milford. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.